Is Canada going to continue this trend of more and more rentals and less and less actual homes for people to purchase? It's October 8th. The federal Liberals just came out with an announcement that I think has, on the outset, it's mostly positive, but I think there is a negative underlying tone to what's happening in the Canadian housing market. So let's get into it. The uh, Christopher Phelan made this announcement today that they are going to allow you to refinance your home to build a suite or garden suite on insured mortgages, and they're going to allow you to realize 90% of the value of the property, including the value of the basement suite and the garden suite. So typically a refinance, you're only able to access 80%, on this specific program, they would allow you to go up to 90%. This is obviously going to create more rental units for people to get into. The change would come on January 15th. The refinance cap would be at $2 million. So on the positive side, this is going to allow homeowners who want to add a rental component to their property, have the ability to get a little bit more income. This is obviously a great thing if you can have someone else helping you pay off that big mortgage and over the long term it's probably going to do really well for them. I think the really big negative of what the federal liberals are doing here is they're doing a great job adding rental stock to the market. If you look at the amount of apartment buildings and programs like this it's all helping people become renters but the true like the brilliant thing about real estate is it helps you create long-term wealth if you are the owner of that real estate. So for the people who have these single family homes and they're able to add garden suites and basement suites, this is long-term really good news for them. But for the renters who don't get that equity build, this just keeps them in that pattern of renting, which I think is a negative because nothing's being done to help those folks become home owners. On the quick other negative side, when you are allowing people to access 90% of the value of a property, if there's ever a market downturn, somebody, someone's loan goes underwater, meaning they owe more than the home is worth, that could be a risk where someone starts to hand keys back to bank because why would I pay for a loan when it's actually more than the value of the property? So having a higher refinance rate on that property, in my opinion, it's great for the homeowner. If you're managing your funds, great. If not, it could be a negative. Let me know in the comments what you think about this announcement for garden suites and basement suites. Happy to answer any questions.